what's up ninjas welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to seven exercises that grew my booty from narrow squats rdls abductors and so much more if you're new here definitely subscribe i want to show you that this is where i was before for a while and this is where i am right now before i explain the workouts you need to understand a few things tip number one your diet you need to have a diet that is rich in all three components your proteins your carbs and fats especially a protein rich diet then drink two to three liters of water per day and importantly have rest days tip number two have a clear workout plan in mind and because we are trying to grow the booty you must have a four days lower body workout plan and then obviously a one day upper body plan to balance it out and give you that hourglass shape tip number three is consistency if you really want to see results and you want to grow that booty you need to be consistent with your workouts you need to go at least four to five days per week to the gym if you can't go in the morning definitely go in the evenings if you can't for both then do home workouts Okay, so first up we have Smith Machine Assisted Narrow Squats. You want to do is put your hands on the bar and then position the bar on your shoulders. Either you can be a high squatter or a low squatter. Then place your feet forward, breathe in, keep your core tight and then squat. As you're squatting, squeeze your glutes at the bottom and then release the tension at the top so here i'm just resting for 10 to 15 seconds before i get ready for the next exercise and most of the time you can drink water you can go to the bathroom you can fix yourself up and then mentally prepare yourself for the wide sumo squat what you do here is you are still under the bar and it's still the same technique as the narrow squats but you are in a wider stance as you're squatting your knees are moving outwards and then you drive through with your heels The next exercise is one of my favorites. I literally do this every single day when I have a booty workout. But even though it's a quite dominant workout, I really, really love it. For this exercise, you will need a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a sandbag. But importantly, you will need a weight plate where you can squat on. So as you squat, squat really low, but keep your knees forward. You will feel the burn dominantly in your quads but the squats help with building the booty next up is rdls this is primarily a hinge movement exercise which at this point you must keep your knees locked at all times and the only thing you need to do is lowering your back you have to imagine that there is an imaginary wall at the back of your glutes that is preventing you from moving backwards and for this i will demonstrate in the next slide with an imaginary white line at the back hinge your pelvis backwards and keep lowering your back to the floor once you are parallel to the ground squeeze your glutes and then immediately come up while performing an rdl it is very important to keep your core tight it is also very very important to have a proper breathing technique that when your dumbbell is at your feet you breathe in when you're coming up you hold it and then when you lower the dumbbell again, you breathe out. <laughs> I'm such a happy child. Next up, we have leg extensions. This is a quite dominant workout. And how you perform it is that you need to extend your legs to be parallel to the floor. Once you are there, you hold and flex at the very top. The second last exercise is leg abduction, probably one of my other faves and I will not lie, I probably do this almost every booty workout day because it targets the side booty and I absolutely love it. So what you want to do is that since you are abducting, you want to keep your legs inside of the cushion and from there you will be pushing outwards. 
if you are going heavy you can stand up and then support yourself so that you don't topple over and then importantly you don't have to open wide the most important thing is just that you are opening as much as you can and then finally when you are opened up squeeze at the very end the last exercise is leg adduction. It's probably one of my favorites and I'll explain why. Because you are adducting, you'll be placing your legs outside the cushion. Before you start, you need to adjust your angle of adduction at the yellow handle. I normally adjust mine to a four. This exercise is very, very good because it works the inner thighs or the pelvic floor muscles, AKA the cookie muscles. If you're gonna go heavy, however, you can stand up and support yourself to prevent yourself from toppling over. And importantly, once you are fully open, you need to squeeze the cookie, AKA the JJ, AKA the best friend. Lastly, I finish off with a 30 minute cardio on the treadmill on an incline of five, five kilometers per hour, sometimes six, or alternatively a staircase master for 20 minutes and ranging with a level of five or six. So what you wanna take away from today is that diet is very, very important to grow your booty. You need to eat to gain. Remember your proteins, your carbs, and your fat, and especially a protein-rich diet. Also count your macros and your micros, and to do that, you can download an app called My Fitness Pal. It has helped me tremendously to gain weight up to where I am and up to a point where I was seeing changes, so I'm sure it will also help you. Then secondly, it is important to understand that you need to trust the process. These gains do not come overnight. You have to spend at least three to six months in the gym, working out right, eating right, and then you will start seeing results. Lastly, self-love and appreciation because you will have good days and you will have bad days, but you need to understand that you are doing this for yourself. So you really need to put your mind, your body and soul into it because at the end of the day, that booty will grow. That's all we have for today. The seven exercises that are helping me grow my booty. Definitely check out this video. And until the further next time, bye ninjas.